and our final kind of introductory example, um, I want to demonstrate then how we'll start to connect these ideas again of uh, adding elements using using D3 and maybe using transitions and some other functions to work on those elements. But um, now let's get some data in there. So D3 also has methods for reading in different kinds of file formats. Here we're going to read in a CSV file that I have located in my static file folder called ads. All right, and if we look at this, it has a column that says information about TV, radio, newspaper, and sales, and has indexes associated with each of these um, entries. Just a basic little uh, CSV file. But we can read this in in a very similar way to what we've done with pandas. We just have to provide the correct file path. So we'll use D3 CSV, and that's in static, and that's called ads.csv. And then we will do some things with that data. Here, we just want to display the data to the uh, console in our browser. So just to see that it has indeed loaded. And I just have this little paragraph. So if we come over to the browser where this page is loaded, um, you know, I'm not seeing anything displayed on the page because I didn't do anything with the data except for ask it to show it in the console. And if I inspect this in Chrome, I can see the console. And in this console, I see a bunch of stuff, namely the results of this CSV. And if you explore one of those, it indeed is a row of data. So here we have TV, radio, newspaper, and sales for that first row in um, ads. All right, and next week what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, extract whatever maybe we're interested in TV and sales, drawing a scatter plot of TV and sales. Maybe we want to draw a histogram of radio. Maybe you know we, but how can we interact with these? Um, these pieces of the CSV file that have been read in. All right, that's our kind of next objective. But for now, you can just play around with uh, maybe trying to create rectangles or something based on these, um, these columns.